again and welcome to another tutorial from Windows7Forums.com. This tutorial is a little special, it's a little different from most. As you can see here we're installing Windows XP Professional Edition. What we plan on doing is proving a proof of concept that it is in fact possible to update and upgrade Windows XP Professional to Windows 7. How this is done is quite complex, but it is in fact possible. Many review sites and different people out there have said it is not possible to upgrade from Windows XP to Windows 7, and for the most part they are correct. However, we will use a method to show you how it is done and how it can be done. It will take time, but it is possible. Once the setup is done, we will begin the steps that need to be taken to show you how to upgrade your Windows XP Professional computer to Windows 7 Professional. We have currently installed Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 3 with an official CD from Microsoft Corporation. We are running on a virtual machine again with 2 gigabytes of RAM on a 20 gigabyte hard drive. We're using a Core i7 processor at 3.33 gigahertz. Now, as far as upgrading to Windows 7 is concerned, there is a way to do it. It just takes several steps. The first step is to realize that we are on Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3, and we are unlicensed in this case. We do not act. Uh, we do not advocate software piracy by any means, um, and I'm not really sure if this violates license agreement uh, with Microsoft, but. Uh, whether or not you have an activated version of Windows XP or not, as long as you have the Windows Vista CD, you can go ahead and upgrade to Microsoft Windows Vista Business Edition, which is equivalent to Windows XP Professional and Windows 7 Professional. And that's what we are intending to do right now. As you can see, the upgrade from Windows XP Professional to Windows Vista Business is not too difficult. And we have Service Pack 2 already. And we'll be doing an upgrade. There'll be a compatibility check, no issues. Uh, well, no. Yeah, when you have Windows Messenger, it will prevent us from upgrading. And before you know it, we'll have Windows Vista installed. And then we'll be back again. Well, we've successfully upgraded to Windows Vista, but what we found was that we didn't have enough hard drive space to initiate an upgrade to Windows 7 Professional after upgrading to Windows Vista. We started off with a 20 gigabyte hard drive. Fortunately, we had the luxury of expanding to a 30 gigabyte hard drive, which didn't take too much time. So if you do plan on doing this, you should have at least a 30 gigabyte hard drive at minimum so that you have enough space to upgrade to Windows 7. As a matter of fact, we started with a 20 gig. I think a 25 gig would probably work uh, when upgrading to Windows 7. But as you see, we're still unlicensed here. We have 30 days to activate, and we had a few days to activate under Windows XP Professional, and we just so happen to have the Windows 7 installation media on hand, and what we will do is launch that, and we will begin the process of installing Windows 7. So remember, when upgrading from Windows XP to Windows Vista to Windows 7, you must have at least 15 gigabytes of free space available on your hard drive. Now, there are some compatibility issues, but they're mostly related to our network adapter here. Um, but Windows does need to be restarted first before we can perform the upgrade. We'll do that now. And that 
is because we changed the file size of the hard drive. We expanded the hard drive right before we began this uh, updated video. And here we are again. Now this computer could be filled with software. It could have Microsoft Office on it. It could have all sorts of different software on it. But we still are able to manage to upgrade from Windows XP. And that's what the important part is. As long as we have 15 gigabytes of memory on hand, we can upgrade from Windows XP to Windows Vista to Windows 7. And at the end of the day, what we really need is a Windows 7 license key that's genuine and valid. As far as having genuine license keys for the other software, uh, you are not permitted to use Windows XP or Windows Vista under the end user license agreement. But no one ever said anything about upgrading with that. So we don't really know uh, legally whether this is a legitimate way of upgrading from Windows XP without product keys for all three operating systems. It can be done though as you're seeing right here and right now. And before you know it we'll have Windows, Windows 7 up and running. Well, we're here now running Windows 7 without any flaws, having upgraded from Windows XP to Windows Vista to Windows 7. So yes, in fact, it is possible, although difficult and time consuming, it is very possible to upgrade to Windows 7 from Windows XP. It requires no license keys technically, and it can be done. All you have to have is enough hard drive space on your computer. And you need to meet the minimum system requirements for Windows 7. So there you go. It all works and uh, works pretty good. Everything's running smooth and we've pretty much got it working. You'll probably have a bunch of device driver conflicts and all sorts of issues if you do uh, have a old XP machine, but those are things that can be dealt with. I would certainly recommend a clean install, but if this is your only option, it is available to you. You can upgrade from Windows XP to Windows 7, regardless of what anyone says.